Hi everyone, welcome back to It's Natural. We are continuing on our DIY homemade, all natural hand sanitizer series. This is part two. I have water that's starting to, um, that's going to be boiling right here. You will need um, some kind of teacup, uh, teacup, tea strainer, if you have one. If you don't, you can go ahead and put both of these into your water and then strain it out with a coffee, um, a coffee filter if you have one or um, some type of cheesecloth or strainer if you have a really fine strainer. And I'll show you one that I have. So let's say you don't have a tea, tea, um, a tea ball like this. If you have a strainer that's real meshy like this, you can use that too. And you can um, actually leave it in here and let it boil. And then all you have to do is pull it out. Okay, so use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy all new stuff. Okay, so I believe this is hot. Um, we'll have to speed this up. Uh, till that gets boiling, but you're going to need oregano leaves, spices, and you're going to need sage, sage, groundly sage. Now, these two products, make sure I'm in frame here. Um, these two products, there are herbs, and they are good actually by themselves, independently, like my last video I did on hand sanitizer. These are actually very good by themselves. Um, they both have the same properties. Uh, antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial. So if you can't find sage, and you can only find oregano, or vice versa, um, you don't have to put them together. I just choose to sometimes. Um, they're both good independently, okay? And you will only need as much as your container fills. I mean, really probably half a tablespoon, if that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And this is on, yep, waiting for that to warm up. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the oregano. Make sure I'm in frame. Okay, so you guys can see this. And as you can see, I just purchased this. So I found um, spices. I mean, some of them are gone. Some spices are, you know, are still in the store, so. All right, so I just filled that up. This is a small tea ball, I believe it is. All right, so I put that in there, put that aside. I'm gonna get another one because I don't want to cross contaminate. Okay gonna use the ground sage. Now I use sage for my hair as a shampoo. And if you're interested in knowing the recipe, please leave me a notes in the comments and I will make a video on it. But sage is really good for your hair also. So you see it just came right out. This is really ground and fine. So let's try to put it on top. I, I tend to, um, didn't realize, I forgot it's groundly fine, grounded fine. So, okay, I have it right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this over here and it might, there's some might get in there, that's okay. I'm gonna close this up. I'm going to put this over here like so onto the side and I'm going to just wait for it to boil. So I'm gonna speed up this process until it, it boils.
Okay, now that this has simmered and it's and it's steaming, um, when I put this in here, I noticed I spilt some of the sage. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a strainer and strain it out. And um, you can leave the ball in there and hopefully it won't make a mess. And I just did. <laughs> I made a big mess. That's all right. That's what the paper towels are there for. All right. Okay. So there's only a little bit. There's not that much. So what you're gonna do with this, this is steaming hot. You're gonna let it cool down. And then after it cools down, I've had this for, in this container, this small container. I'm gonna put this over here so you guys can see it's steaming everywhere. I'll put this over in this kitchen here. That's too hot for move right now. Um, you're gonna go ahead and this is a three ounce spray bottle, okay? Um, and you can tell it's half half full, all right? This is good for hand sanitizer. It's good for um, your little baby's bottoms when they have a diaper rash. I spray it on. Um, and of course you're not gonna have it hot. You want this to cool down and this will last for a very long time. And this right now, I made three cups. And so let's say you don't, you have, um, you just wanna make one cup. You just use it, you just do it like you have tea. You don't have to do it on the stove or on a hot plate like I did. I just wanted to show you. You can use a, you know, a teapot, boil your water, put it in a cup. I do it that way also. I just do it two different ways, but you can use this as a spray or you can go ahead and use it like I did my last video. To where you have the travel sized bottle. This is a two ounce and you can just squirt it in there. So, you know, same thing. You just go ahead and squirt it on your hand and rub it. Make sure you get your nail beds, cut down your nails. If you do have nails, make sure, um, some people have the artificial nails, make sure you soak your hands in this. Like soak them so it gets in between your actual nail and your the false nails because that that collects a lot of bacteria in there. And when I had nails, oh my gosh, I could not stand having any type of um, dirt or having having my hands not cleaned under there. And it was very challenging to clean that. So I suggest if you do have false nails or longer nails, make sure you soak your hands in this. Take a Q-tip and go in there and clean that very well. You would have to, your hand washing regimen should be longer if you have longer nails. Now, um, I need my nails cut. So I'm gonna cut my nails down a little bit more in order for me to, uh, to be able to uh, wash my hands a little bit better and so that there's no bacteria that can get in there um, So yeah, like I did before You just in my last video you just squirt your hand Make sure you know with this you can even squirt your nail beds right here squirt squirt And then I just scrub Scrub the nail beds, scrub, 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 wash your hands, let them dry, okay? It takes 26 seconds for it to get into your system, all right? And that is part, this is part two of the DIY homemade all natural hand sanitizer. And it is a series, so make sure if you didn't watch part one, it will, I'm gonna link it probably up here or at the very end of the video. Make sure you watch the next video. And I have more DIY homemade all natural 
hand, si hand sanitizer recipes, so make sure you look for the series. I will talk to you in the next video. Make sure you watch the next video. Click um, like, subscribe, and share. Make sure your notification bell is on, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.